Hello again and welcome to episode 11 in our series about the energy retrofit of this old cottage next to the Greeny flat. So in the last episode we talked about why we're turning this whole north wall of the house into a solar air heating panel. In this episode I'm going to show how we put that solar air heater together. To start with we'll have a look at a sketch drawing I did at the beginning of this of this part of the project. This is a very rough sketch design that I did for planning the, the air heating wall. You can see that we've got the corrugated metal here on the north wall of the house with a space behind and screened at the bottom to stop insects from getting in. Uh, the warm air rises up in that space behind the cladding and collects in this box at the top of the wall. And that box will have openable vents on it so that in the summertime we can just let the hot air out. Close them in the wintertime and then the hot air will come up through these ducts and collect at the fan. So we'll have this very, very quiet fan that will then blow the air to each of the three bedrooms on the south side of the building. So this is the west wall and you can see that the flashing here goes right back against the wall and then the thermal brake strip sits on top of that and then the corrugated metal on top of that. Now on the north wall, um, the thermal brake strip goes on first and then the flashing has a slightly shorter profile here and that creates a space in here which is, allows the air to flow up from underneath. So looking from underneath you can see on the west side that that space is blocked off and on the north side there's a gap up here with, with a screen in there. So now the cladding's on and you can see We've sealed the ends with, with a foam sealing strip to stop air coming in through the ends of the panel. That means that the air has to come in at the bottom. And here we are at the top of the wall and you can see the thermal brake strip there with that space behind the cladding for the warm air to rise up. And here you can see the box that we're making to collect the hot air along the top of the wall. If we move back here just a little further. This is where the vent goes up into the attic. The only thing we still have to do here is add some vents on the face of this which we can open in the summertime to let the heat out and then close in the winter to catch the heat inside the box. This vent here is where the kitchen range hood will come out once we uh, move the kitchen. So the last part of the project will all be done up in the attic and will involve these parts as well as some ducting. So we'll take the three vents that come out of our air heating panel and we'll connect them to this fitting here which will then connect to the fan. Now this is a special fan that has acoustical treatment on the inside so it'll be nice and quiet and then from the fan it'll split again and go three ways and then each of the ducts will go to one of the bedrooms and in the ceiling of the bedrooms we'll put these vents which can be closed off by rotating them so in the summer we can close them to stop any heat from getting through. So hopefully that explains how we put our solar air heater together. I'll have to report back in the winter time and let you know how well it's performing. Uh, and that pretty well concludes the first stage of our en energy retrofit process. To recap what we've done so far, uh, we pulled all the asbestos off the outside of the building, we sealed up all the air leaks, replaced all the windows, um, insulated the walls from the outside, put new sarking, new cladding, built the tromb wall down here and the solar air heating panel on the north wall. So together all of those things should make a really big difference to the energy efficiency and the thermal comfort in the, in the building. In the near future we also plan to replace the roof and put on solar panels and we also plan to build an insulated awning roof out here on the west side which will control that hot afternoon sun in the summer and also create a nice outdoor covered eating area. So we'll make some more videos when we start in on stage two of the energy retrofit process. Um, for now, thanks for watching and as always, you can visit us for more information at greenyflat.com.au.